Welcome to your favorite show, Math for Juniors, with me, Miss Marks, and oh, a brand new snail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you are referring to my new shirt. It is beautiful, isn't it? Oh yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> Just a bit flashy, you know. I got it on price lesser than MRP because it was on sale. <laughs> That's good. Yes. Uh, and that reminds me that I have to ask you something. The shopkeeper said they give discounts on person basis and I could not understand what he was trying to explain. What is this concept of percentage? It's a pleasant surprise to see you curious about math. Hmm? Don't worry. Today's topic is percentage. So we'll solve all your queries. Let's hit the virtual world. Mohit and Rohit are on the way back to their house. They are discussing the marks scored in their math test. Mohit got 99 marks out of 100, while Rohit got 24 marks out of 25 in his math test. Can you tell who fared better? Let's find out the answer to this question in this module on Introduction to Percentage where We'll understand the concept of percentage and learn how to convert fraction to percentage and decimal to percentage and also learn the conversion of percentage to fraction as well as decimal. Let's begin this module by finding who has done better out of Mohit and Rohit. Mohit got 99 marks out of 100. Can you tell how much marks Rohit got out of 100? Let's see. We know 25 into 4 is equal to 100. So 24 upon 25 is equal to 24 into 4 upon 25 into 4 that is equal to 96 upon 100. This means Rohit got 96 marks out of 100. Thus, Mohit has done better than Rohit. We have compared the performance of Mohit and Rohit by comparing their marks out of 100. Finding their marks out of 100 is nothing but calculating their percentage. We can say that Mohit has got 99% and Rohit has got 96%. This is the symbol of percent. The word percent means per hundred. Thus, 96 percent means 96 out of 100 or 96 by 100. Thus, percentages are numerators of fractions with denominator 100. Welcome back to real world. Snail? Snail, where are you? Oh, what are you doing there? Come out. Uh, oh, uh, I was just uh, wondering. About what? About converting fractions to percentage. Don't lie, Snail. I saw you were eating something under the table. Uh, I was thinking while eating, Miss Max. Snail. Now don't act smart. By the way, I must say that you have raised a very good point. <laughs> Snail, let's go to the virtual world to know about that. We have seen that fractions with different denominator can be compared conveniently by converting them to percentages. A fraction can be converted to percentage by making its denominator as 100. In other words, to convert a fraction to percentage, the fraction is converted to an equivalent fraction having denominator 100. Then, 1 upon 100 is replaced by percent sign. However, there are many fractions whose denominators cannot be straight away converted to 100. Say for example, 5 upon 9. The easiest way to convert such fractions to percentage is to multiply and divide them by 100. So, 5 by 9 is equivalent to 55 and 5 by 9 percent. 
We can even convert decimals to percentages. Want to know how? Let's see. Let's consider the decimal number 0.35. It can be converted to percentage by multiplying and dividing by 100. Thus, decimal 0.35 is equivalent to 35%. Thus, the easiest way to convert a given decimal to percent is to multiply it by 100 and attach percent sign. Snail, are you listening to music? No, Miss Marx. I was listening to the cricket commentary. You're not allowed to listen to radio here. Switch it off now. Watch the match when you reach home. Hmm. But three-fourths of the match is already over. And only one fourth is left. The match will end when I reach home. Um, okay. You can hear the commentary after the session is over, but on one condition. What? You said only one fourth of the match is left, huh? Can you tell me in percentage how much of the match is left? Um. We just learned that. Oh, yes. Fast snail. Yes, 25% of the match is left. I now know how to convert fractions to percentage. Yay! Good. Now, would you like to learn more? Yes. All right, then let's go to the virtual world. We have seen how fractions and decimals can be converted to percentages. But what if we need to convert percentages to fractions or decimals? Let's first see how to convert percentages to fractions. A given percentage can be converted to a fraction by dividing it by 100. This is simply because percent means per 100. The fraction 28 by 100 can now be reduced to its simplest form. Thus, 28% is equivalent to the fraction 7 by 25. Thus, a given percent can be converted to fraction just by dropping the percent sign and dividing by 100. In a similar fashion, we can convert percentage to decimal. For example, consider 22%. 22% is equal to 22 by 100, which can be easily converted to decimal as 0.22. Thus, a given percent can be converted into decimal just by dropping the percent sign and moving the decimal point two places to the left. So Snail, did you understand this? Yes. And you know, the service tax you give in the restaurants, the entertainment tax at the movies and the income tax that your dad pays, all this use the concept of percentage. Wow! I wonder what will be the history behind the concept of percentage? Well, I see you're quite fascinated with the history part, huh? So let's check out our Do You Know section and learn about that. Do you know that percent gets its origin from Latin word per centum, meaning per hundred? Oh, when was it first used? It has been used since the end of 15th century in business problems like computing interest, profit and loss and taxes. But the idea is much older than that. How old? The Roman Emperor Augustus levied a tax on all goods sold at auction at the rate of 1 by 100. Back then, he didn't recognize it as percentages, as in those days, fractions easily reduced to hundreds were used popularly. Um, how was the sign for percentage chosen? The percent sign has evolved from a symbol introduced in an anonymous Italian manuscript of 1425. That old? Yes, the author used this sign instead of per hundred or p cento, which was commonly used. Then, how did we get the new sign? The symbol evolved over time. By 1650, part of this symbol was changed to this. Finally, the per was dropped, leaving this symbol to stand alone, and this in turn became percent. All right, time for a memory jog, friends. So let's hit the recap button and revise our learnings about percentage. In this module, we have learned that percentages are numerators of fractions with denominator 100. 
decimals, fractions and percentages are just different ways of showing the same value. Fractions can be converted into percentages and vice versa. Decimals can be converted into percentages and vice versa. So Snail, hope you understood all about percentage today, hmm? Yes, Miss Max, I got it all. Good, then let's end up today with a small quiz on percentage. Ah, oh, Miss Max, uh, my stomach is really paining a lot. Oh, uh, I think we will have to postpone our quiz to next episode. And I know why is your stomach paining, huh? Well, friends, Snail has got a stomach ache in the name of quiz, huh? So it's time for to say goodbye. See you again. Till then, have fun with numbers. Goodbye.